Hey makers this is Truveen and in this episode I am going to talk about how we can integrate power apps with Azure DevOps Now with the co-authoring feature we can work in a single power apps with the multiple developers In couple of my earlier session we discussed about how we can integrate power apps with GitHub but most of the time organization already set up their azure devops and they want to integrate their power apps with multiple developer with azure devops in this episode i am going to talk about step by step procedure for configuring azure devops with power apps so stay tuned till the end at the end we will play one quiz and one lucky winner will get a shout out from my instagram page as well as certificate of appreciation also one more important announcement if you haven't followed me on my twitter and instagram so far do follow me the instagram and twitter ids are available here or maybe in the description box so do check it out so without further delay let's get started and talk about co-authoring of power apps with azure devops Here I am on my machine and here I have opened one canvas app. The biggest problem at this moment any organizations are facing is multiple developers are not able to work in a single power apps. Now let's say you have a larger project and you wish multiple developer can work parallelly within the same power apps. Then how can you do that? Now Microsoft rolled out a feature of GitHub integration with power apps. that integration you can do either using github or using azure devops in my earlier episodes i talk about how we can integrate power apps with github but in this episode i am going to talk about the integration with azure devops most of the organizations are using azure devops for source control and here in this episode i am going to talk about the step by step procedure for power apps integration with azure devops so stay tuned till the end so without further delay let's get started so this is the canvas app and the very first step that you need to do here is you need to enable one preview feature for that go to the setting option go to the upcoming feature and click on the experimental feature from here search for github and you will see here show github version control setting so just turn it on and it will add one more window for you here which is git version control now basically you need to connect your git rep repository over here now let's close it at this moment and let's create the github repository for that we are going to use azure devops if you wish to see the process for github check out my earlier video which is available in the description box now for azure devops just write a url dev.azure.com now that will open up this home screen for you if you haven't any account for azure devops you can sign up for azure devops now over here i already have an account so basically i am going to sign in but also you can do start free from here let me just sign in to my azure devops so i am just going to use the same account of my office 365 over here so let it to be open after login the azure devops account will looking like this you can see this is the organization now let's create a new project over here so i am providing the project name as power apps yt integration you can provide the description and just keep the visibility as private and let's create a project the project is created successfully just click on repo option over here so i'm just clicking here and you can see this type of window over here now let's copy this url and paste it to notepad that will help us in our upcoming steps so here i pasted this url now as a next step we need the branch name as well for that what you need to do here is you simply need to click on add a readme and just click on initialize once you click on initialize basically it will create this readme file for you 
and this is your main branch so your branch is main so let's just type our branch name as main over here now as a next step we need to generate personal access token for the authentication for that you simply need to click on this icon and over here you will be finding personal access tokens just click on that now let's click on new token so i am just creating new token and provide the name of the personal access token so let me provide as power apps yt integration token just provide the expiration for your token so over here i am just providing a custom defined and uh, let's say i am providing specific date but according to your requirement you can change i want to provide full access and let's click on create so that will generate access token for me so just copy this access token from here and paste it to notepad so i just pasted so our task is being done we have copied our url after that we copy our branch name and personal access token now we need to go to the power apps and connect our github repository over here for that go to here again setting git version control click on connect and over here you need to provide url and branch so url is something that we have copied just paste it over here same way branch is main so let's provide it and let's provide the directory name so over here the directory name can be anything you can provide that according to your requirement so let me provide the directory name as yt azure devops thruvin and click on apply then we need to provide username and password so username is something this is my azure devops username so i need to provide that username and in password basically we need to copy and paste this personal access token so let me paste my personal access token and let me just provide my username over here so here i just added my username and personal access token just click on sign in then it is asking me a pop up that create a directory so yes i need to create a directory so whatever the name that we have provided that directory will be created click on yes and we are good to go. so the git version control has been successfully done let me just go to my github repository and check that thing so i'm again clicking on my azure devops and let me just clicking on the project that we created so power apps yt integration this is the project we created and then i need to go to the repository and i need to click on files so you can see this is the directory name that we provided and under that i am able to see every file of my power apps now what does this entire structure look like for that i have created a separate video few months ago if you haven't visited the yaml file structure and what do we mean by each individual folder with this github repository then do visit my earlier session the link are available in the description box now we are done with the github integration now let's test this functionality so once the github is integrated successfully you will be able to see the sync icon on top of that which means that your power apps has been successfully connected with github repository so the azure devops account is successfully connected now let me just save and publish this app and now let me share this app with the another developers and now let's check the real life changes so let me publish this and now let me share this app so i'm just clicking on share so over here i am sharing this app with another dev which is power platform dev and i am providing him co-owner access and just clicking on share so the app is being shared so we have shared the app with the other user 
Now let me just close this app once again and reopen the app with the same account. So I currently logged in with Druvin's account. I just close this app because once you uh, integrate the Azure DevOps, you need to close the app and after that you need to reopen once. So let's do that. So I am just reopening the app with the Druvin's account again. So after integration, basically we need to do this. So let me just click here, click on edit. It is prompting again for username and password for GitHub repository. So this is the username and this is the personal access token that we kept on our notepad. So I need to paste it again and clicking on sign in. So it will open the app again for me. So you can see here the app is being opened with Druvin's account. Now let's test with the other user and over here I have opened Power Platform Dave's account. Now let me try to open up the same app in the edit mode over here and let's see if we are able to open over here or not. So let it to be open. Now over here as well it is asking for username and password for your Azure DevOps account. So let me just enter username and personal access token that we stored into notepad and just clicking on sign in and that is how your another developer will also be able to open the same application. So let it to be open and here we are the same app is opened with power platform dev user as well and the app is looking like this. Now the same app is opened by two developers at the same time. Let me just open up both the apps side by side so we can evaluate more about it. So let me just arrange the browser window properly. Over here you can see that I have opened browser window side by side. The same Power Apps is opened with Druvin's account as well as Power Platform Dave's account. Now let me make some changes with Power Platform Dave's account. I am selecting this header and now I will try to change the text over here. So let me just change the text as Power Platform Dev. And the text are being changed here. Let me save the updates over here. With respect, parallelly with Druvin's account, I am trying to insert one button control. So what I am going to do here is, I am going to add one button and that button will be added on the screen like this. Now let's save the update. So whenever I am saving the changes with Druvin's account, it will automatically merge Power Platform Dave's account changes over here. So smart merge is being happened over here. So let's see. So after we save that, it reload the app and let's check it again and you can see this update is being appear here as well as button is appearing now let's say i'm trying to open now let's say i need the latest update over here with power platform devs account i simply need to click on sync and that will sync up my changes over here as well so the sync process has been done and you can see the changes has been merged properly. So isn't that cool? Now let me show you the Azure DevOps account and let me show you how that changes are being merged. So let me just zoom in this browser window and let me just open up dev.azure.com and open up my project. So this is the project that we have created. Let's click on that. Let's click on repository and let's check all the commits. So you can see smart merge has been happened and when we click on that, it will show us that which are the changes that is done by Power Platform Dave and which are the changes that is done by Thruvin. So everything is committed properly with this GitHub integration. So this is how we can integrate our Power Apps with Azure DevOps and work with multiple developers at the same time. Isn't that cool? Now I covered everything about Azure DevOps integration with Power Apps. Now 
it's time for quiz you need to answer the question in the comment section only one lucky winner will get a shout out from my instagram page as well as certificate of appreciation so keep answering in the comment section the first question is for azure devops integration basically we need to generate following token option a pat means personal access token option b authentication token option c barrier token and option d none of above so just answering in the comment section with this we are good to end the session if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel if you are looking for any training or consultancy the website link is available here or if you wanted to follow me on my linkedin twitter instagram and podcast all the links are available here on the channel banner so visit the channel home page and follow me on all social media handles if you are interested for short content and hindi content on power platform the dedicated channel is here subscribe that channel and show your love over here as well with this this is thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye